Right. We're in high spirits. High spirits. <laughs> it's like 6 a.m. Forgot the sporks. That's gonna be detrimental. That's the least. We're on our way. Lang Inland Lake. Jean just took a dump. All right, after four hours of hiking. We're at Confederation Lake. We were just behind the ball on that. And a lot of people already knew it was nice, but we're heading through to Fiddlehead. Jenny, you reading the logbook? Say hi, Jenny. Okay, day two. We are at Fiddlehead Landing. I may have a little tiny hole in my thermorest. Kinda sucks, but it's not that big of a deal. I didn't really notice it. Until I woke up and I was like, oh, there's less air in here. Just stayed in the uh, tent last night without the fly. The cabin was pretty hot. Yeah, there weren't any bugs. There's a few wasps, but nothing crazy. We went swimming in the lake. It's actually quite warm. Trail side fruit salads. We got apples on the apple tree. Tin hat's quite steep and hot. We uh, been going for a few hours now. Right, there's a stream, two thirds of the way up, and that's the last, uh, the last water because there's no water on the top of Tin Hat. So this is the last stream before the summit of Tin Hat because there's no water on the summit, and it is, it is thin. Hey, chef. Oh. Finally made it. The last bit is a grunt from the uh, quad parking lot to the summit. There's a lot of horse flies around us, but uh, we're here. Oh, it's blowing back. 
back in. We've located the biggest sex toy this side of Old Faithful. So we're on an excursion for the sunset. The family has joined us. We've got dogs and kids now. Turns out my thermorest does not have a hole in it, which is really nice. Yeah. Woke up at a cloud last night. A little bit of a different morning today. Finally made it to Elk Wake Cabin. The trail was rough. The last bit, it's like pretty steep on the last 1.7k. Um, but we're here now, and we're the only ones here. See, uh, it's open on the bottom, and uh, the attic upstairs is where the bunks are. You can see there's a dock out there. Jenny's kind of creeped out in this uh, cabin. I uh, kind of creeped out, I guess, and she put rocks on the door to come up now and has her knife. This is our cabin in the uh, lake. It's pretty nice. Day four. Everything's a little damp. Everything stinks a little bit. But this today's our last full day, and uh, it's just supposed to be rainy again today. On to Walt Hill Hut. Epic view. Look how high up we are.
it last day. Heading out to Dick suicide. suicide Pass to Dixon Road. And uh, yeah, it's a good night last night. It's a little chilly. No, it wasn't chilly at all. It wasn't chilly. I don't know why I said that. We had a pellet fire, but we're both kind of scared of the dark apparently because we we're both sort of freaked out staying in that cabin. And uh, we're never really freaked out staying in our tent for some reason. But yeah, anyways, we're off and it's overcast. We saw a bit of a view this morning for breakfast, but uh, yeah, not many views to be had today. came off of a five-day backpacking trip, we hit civilization, and Vinny decides to take a piss right on the side of the road. You see it everywhere, Brett. You, like, Literally you just came out of nowhere for five days and Vinny decides to... Animal. Absolute animal. We just saw Joyce who gave us a tour with her husband. Uh, Ginny, thoughts? No, I think the people on this trail have been the best people we've ever met hiking, which is really cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they agree with that. That's the best people. And, uh, oh, that's cool. Yeah, we're uh, heading back to Comox now.